hi everyone welcome to my channel today we are going to discuss one more amazing tip of working with colab it makes your work faster those who switch from i r to python often find it uh, you know time consuming to import so many libraries for trivial tasks in r we can do a lot of things even in the base package and for data wrangling and a lot of data exploration data management we just need to import tidyverse and get the job done but in python we need to use so many import statement and uh, for beginners it's often confusing to remember all those import statement and if you are a experienced professional then to uh, many times you need to write these uh, so many import statements or some code which you write frequently in most of your workbooks and if you want it if you want some automatic way to get those lines of code in your notebook without actually opening up the previous notebook and copy pasting the code that is obviously one way if you want the same uh, lines of code you can always open and copy paste these statements so how you can do that so let me show you one example i have created a notebook here and i have used some code snippet here which i am going to use frequently for my work so i have given a name first of all uh, it's necessary that you give the snippet code snippet a uh, meaningful name so that you can fetch that code snippet by remembering that name right so i have given the name import libraries or you can give any name import ml libraries or whatever and i have written some import statement which i am going to use frequently for my ml project just for demo purpose and i have added one more text here auto ada and for that i have added a code using pandas profiling there are various ways various libraries which helps you to kick start your journey in eda like pandas profiling sweetwiz there are autoviz libraries i have created some videos on those also if you want you can check out those videos on my youtube so actually ed is a very iterative process and we cannot automate it completely but yes we can kick start uh, uh, understanding the data and get some quick insight just by using one or two line of code instead of generating all those basic plots and uh, heat maps and correlation manually so i prefer using pandas profiling or autoviz library for that so i have created these uh, two code snippet now whenever i work in any project machine learning project i most of the times want to use these code snippet and i want something which help me to automate this task i don't want every time to open this notebook and copy paste these line in my new notebook so how we can do that let me show you one thing first thing let me open a new notebook here so it is my new collab you see uh, there are three icons and if you click here this is the code snippet so let me show you there are some code snippet i was searching something yeah there are some code snippet which comes by default when you even start working with collab so these code snippet are automatically uh, or i would say inbuilt they are in collab whenever you start working in collab right i have not created all these code, code snippet for example you see here visualization bar plot in altair if i just click here i will be able to insert this code in my current notebook if i just uh, do something else suppose i want to do visualize interactive scatter plot i can do this and i'll get the code here so we get the code here we can obviously change the co code we can modify it as per our requirement so these are some inbuilt code snippet we can use but what i want is i want my code snippet to appear here so that i can use it every time i open any new note notebook and i want to use it so how we do that first of all uh, i just need to go to the notebook which i have created for the code snippet and i need to copy the url here is the url which i am going to copy and uh, in the new notebook any notebook where you are working go to tools settings and here you see the option first is site and here you see uh, code snippet notebook url so here you can paste the notebook url and you can click on save so if you have clicked on save 
next time if you check this url is here because it is dark theme so uh, it's not completely visible but if you uh, look it here in yeah this is the url which is there right and you can save as many urls as you want so if you have another url which you want to save you can save save it here but i prefer saving it in one url and having all the code snippet which i am going to use frequently in that url only so uh, i should get all those functions which i all those uh, codes which i have written here directly in my new notebook so let me browse it here are the code snippet and i can see the auto eda code snippet here auto eda code snippet is here which i have created right this auto eda or uh, i am not sure if import library code snippet is here it's here import libraries right so either you can browse it here or, or it's a good practice if you remember the name so you can just uh, search it like this so basically when you search for import this is the statement which i have created import library this snippet i have created other snippet these are inbuilt code snippets so let me just import my own created snippet so you see all these 37 lines of code is automatically imported here right and let me try auto eda also so somewhere it was auto eda so you need to give a meaningful name and you need to give a new name also so either you can click to this arrow icon or you can see the code here and you can click to this insert or if you want you can click here to view the source notebook so it's optional but if you want to see let me just so i can get all the codes here so hope you will find this tip useful it will help you to import all the code snippet which you have saved once and you have stored the url here by going to tools settings and custom snippet notebook url and this will save your time hope it is useful for you Thank you for watching.